Welcome back to my virtual over-the-road trucking adventure in Texas. We just got a few cities left in Texas to finish exploring, and then we're going to head north into Oklahoma. Right now, we've got, uh, we're in Van Horn, Texas. I'll show you where we are on the map. And we're going to take this load, which I'll tell you about in just a moment, to Texarkana. Now, that is a lot longer than I normally do in one of these exploring videos. But I couldn't find a load to any of the other places that I have yet to explore, which is McAllen, uh, San Angelo, Galveston, Huntsville, Tyler. So we'll go on to Texarkana, which was added to this list just before Oklahoma DLC came out. So we'll go ahead and do that. It is, by the way, 720 miles. And we are going to be delivering a power generator. I also couldn't use my trailer for this. I couldn't find any loads out of Van Horn going to any of the places I wanted to go. Now, there are a lot of loads coming out of Van Horn, but none of them are going where I needed to go to finish the exploring series. Not with my trailer or any other trailer that I had. However, this one is a company provided trailer and that's what we're going to use so let's get going this uh, power generator is uh, almost 31,000 pounds not too terribly heavy but it's not super light We well, can hear the hum of that uh, electrical power. That's pretty good road sounds. Back in the cab and look both ways. We are clear. And we're off. Now, one nice thing about this, even though it's a long ways, it's all interstate. So we're gonna get on right up here. Is that a window down? No. Nope. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. GPS wanted us to go that away and get on up here, which would have been fine. Now, this is a world of trucks load, so we're going to be limited to 65 miles an hour. Which is fine. See, again, it's the only load I could find in any of the cities I haven't already explored in this series. Even though I've been to Texarkana and every other city in 
live streams and other, well, mostly just live streams. Let's enjoy a little bit of the outside drive, shall we? And some of my recent live streams, I've had a few people ask me, where's my trucky overlay? Well, you can see it up at the top. It's in a horizontal strip. All right, we're gonna jump on uh, Interstate 20 up ahead. I guess I could. I guess I could have stayed in that other lane. Maybe I also could have gotten a uh, container hauler to use my own. Oh well. Anyway, as I was saying, the. Uh, Truckee overlay is, is a horizontal strip at the top of the screen now. And the reason why you can't see it during live streams is that that's where I have my um, stream elements overlay. So I still get to look at it during live streams, but it's covered up with the stream elements overlay during live streams. takes me back driving this route mostly I went the other way but occasionally I would go eastbound disconcerting. I didn't expect the flyby to look down from on top of the overpass and not be able to see anything. Okay. Note to salt. Don't do that again. You know, for only doing 65 miles an hour, it seemed like I was going awfully fast just then. Try that again. That's a nice view. Yeah, I like that. Let's see if we're gonna get pulled in. Yep, 
No? Awesome. That would just slow us down. I was just admiring the train. I like watching trains too. Wow, have I really not been this way on this profile? Because neither side is fill, uh, colored in. That's interesting. I'm look. I'm talking about the, uh, the little mini map down there. When I've been to a place on a road, it's colored in yellow by default. I don't have any special mods that are changing the color. It looks like we're approaching an area that I have been on. We are going to take this um, all the way to just this side of Fort Worth. And then we're going to switch over to Interstate 30. I think. Let's take a look at that. So, yeah, once we get up here. Yep, we're going to leave Interstate 20. We're, you know, we, we started on Interstate 10 back here at Van Horn. And then we separated off to Interstate 20. We'll be on that until just this side of Fort Worth and the 20 continues this way. But we're going to get on 30 and follow that through Dallas or Fort Worth and then Dallas and stay on it all the way to Texarkana. According to the GPS, our ETA is going to be sometime before 8 p.m. It's 11 a.m. now. So we still got eight hours and 41 minutes of driving time. That's game time. But we will have to make a stop for fuel. Now, I haven't driven this particular truck in a while. This being the um, Kenworth T680. I've been driving this almost exclusively for the Exploring Series. This is the truck I drove uh, when I was over the road. Of well, the last three years of being over the road anyway. So... this truck
gonna pass right through San Angelo, I think. One of the cities we still need to get to. beginning to see as we get farther east we're beginning to see more and more trees Stink Creek Road. Gotta wonder how something the creek got a name like that. Everything's got a story. Is it because it was, um, like, wow, what was that? Um, did it have a bog smell, like rotten eggs or something? Or was there some dead carcass rotting in there made a stink? Gotta wonder. That was a weird noise. I'm not saying you don't hear noises like that out on the road, but it just, I wasn't expecting it. Yeah, we're getting in, getting into uh, more and more built up areas. Well, there's a road to San Angelo. Let's take a look at that. Okay, we are coming up on Abilene, as I suspected. San Angelo is south of us. Okay, so we're not going through San Angelo. We are going through Abilene, and we just drove past in another profile. I own this garage. That's why I was thinking it was familiar.
Because it is. That's a whole lot of keep lefting. Or keeping left, we gotta do. And all that means is don't don't get into the right exit lane. See that Ikea trailer back there? I've seen a lot of old trailers used as billboards along the side of the road. That is what that was. I don't even think we're gonna have to stop for fuel. I mean, we could. But we have enough to make it. And then I can get fuel after delivering. We should be coming up on the split here soon. I think we, we have road construction coming up. I don't know, it looks like it might be done. Or over on the frontage road, not here. I hopped back into the cab in case I had to slow down. And maneuver. I can maneuver much better in cab. Sorry, dude.
was the end of the construction. So they must be right winding it up. Okay, it looks like we've got our uh, changeover coming up here in less than a mile. So, oh, 20 is the right two lanes. 30 is the left two lanes. I see a helicopter up in the air. What's going on? Nothing on this side. Got something going on over there. Somebody did something bad. And we're coming up on Fort Worth. Speed limit drop to 60. Left. I missed that. Oh. Well, we needed to get over here anyway. point which I can do since I'm in single player mode I can just do this six flags over Texas and back in the cab Stay on 30 East. Lots of big interchanges here.
I don't remember the name of this lake. But I remember crossing over it a few times. How nice and green it is here with the nice green trees so much different than West Texas It's like night and day between this and West Texas. Yeah, do not have to stop. Well, we're down to 90 miles. I missed the 100 mile mark. I was distracted by the scenery. It's really starting to look a lot like Arkansas here. Yeah, 
And it's getting a little late in the day, too. Getting close to 7 p.m. Arcana. I'd like to get a picture of this. You know, for the thumbnail. I mean, I've got a good picture of that sign, but. See your destination. Stop. Turn oh, we left. stopped. Okay. As soon as that light changes, I'll turn left. Okay. There we go. there we're just well it says nine miles and as I suspected I had enough fuel to do this but I will need to get fuel before I do the next thing Whatever the next thing is. Go straight. Keep right, and then turn right. This is the rail yard. Didn't realize that's where we were going. You have arrived at your destination.
We're right there on the other side of that yard dog. Ooh, right next to this oversized trailer. I think I think we're gonna have to come in blindside on this, because that's not enough room to maneuver around that little low boy there. Let's get out and take a peek. Well, that's awfully close. There it is. 729 miles, it says. And we're not late, and we got no damage. Let's have a look. I think my truck needs a little maintenance. 2%. That's not bad. Let me just pull away from this, and we'll wrap up the video. All right. And there it is, Van Horn, Texas. Let me pull up the map. Van Horn, Texas, Texarkana. So almost all the way across Texas. The only way it would have been longer is if we'd have gone from El Paso. But even so, 720 miles to get across the state. And we weren't, it wasn't even all the way across the state. So Texas is big, y'all. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that's going to do it for now thanks for being riding along with me in texas we've only got a few cities left and then we'll move on into oklahoma hope you'll be here for the next video